Tracy. Hey. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for coming along That's today. That's okay. Um, a little mystery with a pack of cards, but you don't have to choose a card. Okay. I'm going to make a prediction. Right. Now, most magicians, when they make predictions, they take a piece of paper, they take a pen, and they write it down. Some fold it up into a little square, and they put it in an envelope, and then they seal the envelope up. Some take the envelope, put it in a box, take a padlock and lock the box. Right. Way too much time. Okay. I'm going to make an open prediction, a verbal prediction of a card. Okay, got okay. it. Um, my open prediction today will be the four, no, the, the two of clubs. The two of clubs. Okay. What's okay. my open prediction? The two of clubs. Don't forget that, yeah? Okay. okay, got it. Would you hold the cards for me? And uh, what I want you to do is give me a little mix. So cut off about a third of the deck and place them just there for me. Excellent. And cut off about half of those and put them there. Beautiful. And put those just there. Let me ask you, um, do you play any cards at all? Poker or blackjack? Not blackjack? really, no. But you understand the cards? Yes. Yeah, okay. And why don't you just stack them up for me? That's lovely. Now, numbers play an important role in our lives, don't they, Lucy? You've got pin numbers, house numbers, yep. national insurance numbers, lottery numbers. Gym numbers. numbers. Gym numbers, as you can see, my gym number expired <laughs> about three years ago. But um, numbers do play an important role in our life. Yeah. I'm going to ask you to think of a number. So we're not here all day. I want you to think of a number, say, between 10 and 20, you know, like 11 or 12, but don't let me influence you. Make it high, make it difficult, yeah? Okay. okay. Could I have any way at all of knowing what number you're thinking of right now? No. No, absolutely no is the right answer. Um, tell everybody, what number are you thinking of? 19. 19. But you could have named 12, you could have named 14, you could have named 16, yeah. yeah? I want you to pick up that deck for me. I want you to hold it as if you were going to deal in a game of cards. And I want you to deal the cards one at a time, face up, turning the cards over onto the table. And we'll count. That's one. And continue. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Stop there for a moment, Lucy. Do you remember my open prediction? Yeah. What was it? Two of clubs. Great memory. Have you seen the two of clubs so far? No. Now remember, that's one, two, three, four, five, six cards, yeah? Yeah. And you just thought of a number, and it was 19, yeah? Yeah. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, carry on, Lucy, carry on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop right there, Lucy. There's a two of hearts. Yeah. I could have named that card, but I didn't name that card, Lucy, no, did I? No. What was my open prediction? The two of clubs. Brilliant memory. Okay. That's 10, so that's 11. <laughs> 12, 13, the tension is building. 14, <laughs> yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18. Stop right there, Lucy. There's 18 cards there. Yeah. There's black cards, there's red cards, there's picture cards, there's number cards. Do you see my open prediction card? No. And you thought of 19? Yeah. Well, you could have thought of 12, 14, 16, any number is possible. How impressed would you be if the 19th card was my open prediction? And remember, you mix the cards. I'm very impressed, because it's not possible. Well, I'm here to try the impossible. Okay. And maybe mysterious forces <laughs> are at work here in Shropshire today. There's only one way of finding out. Turn that card over and show it to the camera and freak out. Oh, <laughs> there's the two of clubs. My open prediction. Oh Three, my god! Four, number. Magic just kills me, honestly. <laughs>